So I've, uh, over the years, hung out with a lot of very strong people. These two people are very strong and strong in a multiple sports and coach multiple sports. Strongman powerlifting, hair and weightlifting yourself. Maybe you don't coach it as much, but you've competed. Weightlifting specialty, mess around with some powerlifting. Strongman in general. Some grip stuff. Biggest biceps out of any weightlifter in the planet. And so I want to talk about, without detail, because I know the answer is going to be, it depends. But how are we going to mix up some weightlifting, some powerlifting, and maybe look a little better? Right? I think the majority of people think they see maybe Alan or me doing some cleans on the internet. Hey, that looks kind of cool. I know how to squat, bench, and deadlift. That's fairly simple how to learn. These may be a little more complex, but they look fun. But hey, I still want to look good. So what's maybe a general outline you guys, or general advice you would give if someone wants to dabble in some weightlifting, dabble in some powerlifting, and maybe do some curls in their life? Go ahead, uh, if you're a powerlifter or bodybuilder looking to dabble in weightlifting, um, I would suggest keeping it light, keeping it more like cardio until you develop more mobility needed to do the Olympic lifts. That's going to be outside your usable range of motion for your particular sport. Someone like Mike, who wants to include Olympic lifting in his routine, he wants to feel good, kind of move around, feel athletic. We're not going to do a whole lot of overhead. It's going to be really slow uh, in terms of progress in that area because if he decides to compete in powerlifting again, this needs to be his primary range of motion that he's comfortable in. He doesn't get any benefit out of this. So just be cognizant of that if you're thinking about competitive, uh, competing in multiple sports and mobility is a concern for you. So I take, so the question is kind of how do you incorporate these three things into a yeah. one program? Because because goals are as specific as we want, right? If you yeah. want to be the best deadlifter in the world, maybe you can't be the best cleaner. Though. Yeah, I would uh, look at it from a programming perspective. I would look at how many slots you have a week. Like if I have two or three slot, squatting slots a week, two or three pulling slots, and then just kind of insert as you'd like. Maybe a deadlift day, uh, I don't know, power clean day for your other pull, um, or some strongman stuff, just depending on how broad you want to be with the exercise selection and then just a bunch of uh, you know upper body pressing slots which could be pressing push pressing uh, technique olympic stuff so that's kind of how i would plug and play in terms of pressing squatting and pulling slots so a typical power lifter bench in three times a week you might just replace one yeah, with the jerk or, or, yeah, yeah what about Whatever. um some strongman guys you've coached some you've worked on a bunch yourself what does their kind of training look like obviously strength matters but they're doing logs and things that kind of replicate the weightlifting are you mixing some of that in there yeah, it's primary, primarily strength and conditioning, and then a lot of the strongman stuff is more technique stuff, like a log press. Um, stuff that's a little more technical, a circus dumbbell or something, I'm going to have them practice more often. But things like carrying a keg or running with a sandbag, I'm not going to do too much because I feel like that energy is better spent towards other things. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of strength and conditioning work, and then technique work based on uh, either equipment they have access to or uh, competition coming up. Event specific stuff. So. Uh, log, any, I hate the word carryover, we can use whatever yeah. word you want to use to like a clean, or are you just going to do log because it's as specific as it needs to be? Sure. I'd say no. Yeah. I'm not like big on absolutes, but no. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of that too, and that's kind of the shitty part. Uh, I'm going to be okay at powerlifting, very mediocre at weightlifting, and I'm going to have a very mediocre physique, but I'm going to enjoy my training and be able to get all three done. But if you want to be high level at any of them, you're probably going to have to get in some real specific shit. Right, yeah. Yeah, you get better at what you do. And if you get strong people uh, like these guys that come into your gym, if you're a weightlifter, weightlifting coach, uh, just know that if you, you if you have like a, if you're a really strong person, the Olympic lifts are going to be less impact on your body because your technique is going to be way behind what you can do with your absolute strength. So there's a little bit more room to play a little bit, but also just be aware that um, if you're Competing in other sports, that sport should take precedence over your weight and training. If you're working with a strongman athlete and they're doing jerks, they're probably going to lean back with it as if they're going to do like a max log press or whatever. And you just have to sort of let them know that for purposes of the sport of weightlifting, it's supposed to be done like this. Might look different for your sport. I'm not an expert in that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Like general systematic stress may be different for my clean because I'm cleaning 100 kilos when I can squat. 500 pounds. Yeah. So generally, I'm going to be able to recover from this. And right now, my powerlifting training is pretty much like I would compete. Like it's not that different. Then I'm sprinkling this in. Um, enjoy you guys. Thanks for training with me. Thanks for talking to the people. Hopefully, we do this again a couple times a week. Yeah, dude. Sweet. Yeah.